All right, so I'm going to be going over some tips to help you beat online poker in 2021 and beyond. Now, as I'm going over this, if you guys are looking for good online poker sites to get started with, we'll have some bonus and sign-up links in both the description and comments. Also, if you could smash like button on this one, I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to be breaking down some hands here in Ignition Poker. You're going to see an absolutely sickening hand where I got extremely lucky. And <laughs> I guess I want to start things off with that. Now... You're going to have days when you're playing where, you know, you're just going to have bad runs, bad luck. It is what it is, right? But as far as winning consistently, there's a few things that have really helped me, you know, week after week, month after month, and especially year after year. Now, I always try to keep it at two tables at a time. I never play more than that mainly because, you know, you got to focus on what you're doing. That's a huge part of online poker. Focus, 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 because there are going to be situations where you're going to have to, you know, put people on a range of what they might have. And you're going to have to figure out if you need to bluff them, if you need to just give the hand up. And uh, yeah, that's important. And so that kind of brings me up to the next uh, point here. Now, the more hands you play of online poker, the better you get at understanding what the other person might have, putting them on a range of what they might have. And that's usually based on on, you know, how they raise pre-flop, how they acted in a certain position, uh, things like that, right? So putting people on ranges is important. And then uh, the other thing that's really helped me is keeping my sessions between an hour to an hour and a half at a time and then taking a break. Uh, this, for whatever reason, I think just allows you to you know, refresh your brain and then play better poker. I, I think that if you sit there and think about what I'm saying, if you think about like a session that you played maybe for like six hours straight or, you know, four hours straight or 12 hours straight, you probably played really good in the beginning. And then by the end of that session, you probably just, you know, started losing money, maybe just tilting, maybe not caring. And that just, that just comes with like being completely drained. I mean, you can only play good poker for so long. You know what I mean? And I just think that's very true. So, I mean, try to keep your sessions between an hour to an hour and a half. And I think that, you know, you're going to see your win rate go up drastically. Okay, so we got a crazy hand coming up here. And like I said, try not to judge me on this one. I mean, I did get pretty darn lucky. And, you know, that happens, right? I mean, I've been on both ends of it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you uh, lose with the best hand and then you win with the worst hand. That's how poker is. It just, it just happens, you know? All right, I think it's probably going to be coming up after this one. Ace four offsuit. Pretty sure I didn't play that. I think I, I mucked this one. Probably should have called that, but whatever. Okay, so get ready for some fireworks here. All right, so we had a 3-4 suited of hearts. And I love playing these hands. I mean, it, it, the only one I really won't play is 2-3 suited, but sometimes I will play it, especially lately. All right, so player six raised it to six bucks. I uh, insta-called. And it was a good flop for us, um, you know? Okay, so, you know, we've got bottom pair, we've got the straight draw, and, you know, it's likely that this guy could have, like, an ace-king, ace-queen type of hand, uh, you know, or maybe a pocket pair, a high pocket pair is possible, too. I decided to just put the pressure on here, you know, he called me, I could not believe he had pocket fives. This was disgusting, I ended up winning the hand, and honestly, guys... I did not expect that at all, right? I mean, that was probably terrible poker on my part, and it definitely was terrible poker. But, you know, it, I got so lucky on that hand, I can't even explain it. I mean, I had outs, but the fact that he had a set, I mean, I there was just no way to know that. I mean, there was no way I was putting him on that at all. If anything, I would have been cool with him having like pocket tens, something like that, and then me just you know, getting it all in, you know, trying to two pair or, you know, hit the straight. I would have, I would have been comfortable with that. Right. But to, for him to have a set right there, that was just disgusting. And honestly, I felt bad. Like that, that was terrible. I mean, 
Imagine being that guy losing with that hand. That's just like awful. But it is what it is. Uh, like I said, this stuff happens and you know, that's how it goes. All right, next hand I had pocket eights. Pretty good flop for it. You know, um, not just in one of these situations again where a couple of high cards this guy could have or, you know, a pocket pair. I thought about re-raising this, but I just called him. Ace on the turn was a terrible card. So if you did have like an ace queen or an ace king, uh, ace jack type of hand, you know, I'm basically, you know, almost drawing dead at this point if that's what he has so uh you know kind of in either thinking about checking or folding but you know he checked it which was weird and that ace actually saved me some money because you're gonna see what he had and it was uh pocket kings so that ace definitely scared him and you know that ended up helping me out considerably um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know um poker online poker tip strategy gonna be doing some more of it obviously in uh you know the upcoming videos um but if you could smash the like button subscribe to the channel for more poker content and we'll see you in the next poker session Thank you.